What's up, everybody? Afro Joe here, Tan Like a TIS again. I know I should have did this video on the 13th or the 12th, but I, I didn't know. I waited too damn long to do this video, but this story, I thought it was kind of fucked up to hear. But I'm going to do another video about the Sandy shooting, the Sandy Hook School shooting. But this one I thought was kind of weird, especially for this story and the Sandy Hook School shooting it happened in the same month near Christmas time and I thought it was something else that this would happen like a week before Christmas and and shit like it because and they and the funny thing about it is this guy named Jacob Roberts was twenty two and they the the the, 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 the boy that did the school shooting was like what, twenty four, twenty five years old? And I said they in their twenties and they're shooting up people. And and to me, it made me question what was really going on through these people's heads. Like, this guy said, they say, I don't, I don't trust the media too much because whatever. It says, something appeared to happen to Jacob Tyler Roberts, a big dream, dreaming, fun-loving 22-year-old before he pulled a semi-automatic rifle out of his guitar case and opened fire inside a, a packed Poland, or, Portland, Oregon, Oregon, whatever, mall in the middle of Christmas rush, but what? Like, I'm going to put this sword, story in the description box and all this and that so y'all can look for yourself. It says, friends and relatives of the man identified as the masked gunman who injured a teenager injured a 15 year old and killed two people the people he killed the people he killed was Cindy Ann Yilk, Yuk and Stephen Farstow said it's impossible to include the senseless violence at a A time like this late Tuesday with the imagine of Robert Roberts at a young man who had told everybody everyone he was ready to embark on an adventure future like but it appears to he sh shooting in which of his history of mental illness they say he's mental and uh and I thought, and they say it's, they're puzzled by this that this happened. He urged so far may start becoming clear, saying Scott, a criminal justice professor at the University of North Texas, I guess where he, that's where he studied at. It says with guys like this, there's a lot of, of lot going on that cooking inside them way before the incident happened. Said Mr. Blue, Blue, Belshaw, Belshaw, Mr. Belshaw, Scott Belshaw is the name. Mr. Belshaw, the most that he can say at the point in the young per young people like Jake Roberts trend to be in the if they lose something, it can come down pretty hard. They say. The reason why he did this is because his girlfriend left him, broke up. Police say Wednesday they have un undiscovered no motive for the shooting, which appeared to be aimed at random shoppers. Pete Roberts pulled up to the mall in the green odor, ran into the food court, and started firing at calling out, I am the shooter. According to people's statements, after his gun jammed, he ran down a set of stairs and shot himself. After Monday, the internet message board urged others to watch the news Tuesday for something about the town. People, police say they are aware that the of the threat, that threat, but could not comment on it. No, it's like yes. Robert Francis read out that the young man who had nothing on his record but a few traffic tickets and a suspended license was heartbroken after yeah after he broke up with his girlfriend and 
and, and to me it's like if he broke up if he if his girlfriend broke up with him like for real why would you go to a mall and kill two people and injure a 15 year old why would anybody do that that is ridiculous to do is going into a mall shooting up somebody that you don't know it, like cause one thing is I wonder if this guy was if they knew he was unstable was he on any narc like I don't know if they tested him and see if he was on narcotics if he was on crack cocaine heroin meth acid shrooms weed whatever we didn't well if he was smoking weed he wouldn't do that but did they check if he was on anything if he was on any narcotics or if he was taking narcotics for his his chemical his uh his issue he has I don't know but that's how it is his condition did he take narcotics for his condition did anybody check I don't know but I thought it was kind of fucked up that he did a shooting in the mall like think about it now you like what was it? There was a a bombing down in the ho what, a hotel, a business building, something like that. Nine in the nineties, early nineties, late eighties. What was it? Uh, school shootings? Mid in the nineties. Colin Little Rock, Columbine, the shootings. Then what? What was this? Down here in Tennessee, there was a guy that went to the fast, went to several fast food joints and shot up the place, killed several people. Then that was what, the 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 theater shooting, the theater shooting, and when I heard this story, saying a mall shooting, I said, I said I'm kind of fucked up about this because a guy, what was it, a few months ago, a guy just shot up a theater when Batman the the Rising came out, it was like the Batman shooting, and then now you hear about a mall shooting a mall shooting it, it's, it's ridiculous man I say it's, it's, it's bad enough that you can't even walk out your door no more it's much dangerous it's dangerous out there in the real world and I know half of y'all gonna say well this is just as dangerous as you sitting in your house true, true that same when you sit on the internet no matter which way you turn you're in danger your life is more in danger than any than anything else and now they're talking about safety gun laws because of the shooting at that school, the Sandy Hook school. And it makes you question. It makes you question a lot of things about these people about how did he get a gun? They said he got it from a friend. He used his... They, uh, they say how he got a gun was that he used his friend's ID to get a gun and went out like... Like for real, man. If the new to do was unstable, why would you let your friend borrow your ID to get a gun? Cause one thing is, if I knew I had, if I had a friend that was unstable, the first thing that would come to my mind. Come to my mind, it's like, nah, dude, you ain't borrow my ID to do any damn thing. Cause that's how it is. Because it's it's ridiculous that. This guy went out and shot out two people, killed two people, and, and, sh and wounded a little girl. The guy was 22 years old, and this ought to make you question, man. Do you like, like when I heard about the shooting in the theater, and it didn't want like a shit. I was like, fuck it, I can't go to go to the movies and watch a good movie, because I'd be too damn busy looking on my fucking shoulder, saying who's gonna shoot my ass up. Can't go to the theater, man, because I'd be too busy to go. I'd be too freaked out to go shopping because I'm looking on my shoulder to see who's going to walk in the, one of the doors and just start st shooting up the mall. It is just so dangerous, man, that it is, e like, to, for real, it's easier to get a gun off the streets than it is to buy one at the stores. Then... Now, people don't realize, man. I say the the government don't realize, the police don't realize. Once you take that gun off the 
once you take that gun off the street, it's going to end up back on the street because somebody's going to take it out of the lock in the evidence room and put it back out there so it can suck around again. A gun can have... One thing about a gun is a gun doesn't have a soul. A gun does not live. But a gun can have many murders on it. A gun can have many murders on it. But I said, why? Because they use it to shoot. The gun can have many murders on it. It can have up to 15 to 25 to 1,000 murders on it. And you would never know because people scratch the serial number off. And they sell it on the street. So they don't want to get traced back to them. But. Not to, and. and it, but I say like this man. When y'all go outside man. Y'all got to be so careful. Because you don't know what's going to happen man. Because I'm saying you got to be precaution. You got to be caution. On where you go man. Because you don't know who's going to come out and shoot up or who's gonna break in your house and shoot up you think like I'm telling you man this shit right here is a warning I'll tell you this that the theater shooting the small shooting was a fucking reminder was a fucking reminder man that y'all need precautions man because when you walk out that door you don't know what's gonna happen same when you stay in your house the same when you sit up there and you talk bad about somebody you just don't know what happened what's gonna happen a young man kills two people injures a child and kills himself and it's it, it's just it's just fucked up it makes you question why why go to like cause I question it's like I sit here for a while and I thought about it, so like, why would you go to a, why would you go to a mall and kill people what do people got what did the people at the mall got to do with any damn thing nothing it makes you question why but they can't ask him why because he's dead and gone. It makes you wonder, why did he kill himself? Why did he want to go to a mall? What made him, what made him, like, what, what set him off? And everybody keeps saying, oh, he had a bad breakup. He had a bad breakup. Like, for real, like, for real, man. He, like they say, you can tell a person, you can tell, tell a lot about a person when you meet their friends. But sometimes you got to watch what they friends saying because sometimes it can be five friends saying he can be a good person. It can be two friends saying he ain't shit or she ain't shit. But you got to you gotta look at this. You got to, the only way you can tell the person, tell, tell them more about the person is hang with their friends and see what they're like. But it's like this though. If he, I'm saying if, I ain't saying if it's true, I ain't saying if it's false, I ain't saying it, like, it, it have, this happened, but if, the word if, if he really snapped, went off because his girlfriend broke up with him, then there is a problem. Things problem. They say he had some problems in the past, and like, this is why I ask. It's like why I say this is why I ask if he was on any narcotics or anything to think about his illness. Just to wonder on that one. Just to wonder if he had any illnesses that that he has I don't like just to figure out what was going on with him if he did have an if they would have found out oh is he well okay he's taking this for his depression oh he's taking this for his whatever he's taking that for whatever he's taking this for whatever then he's like okay he missed a day that's why he went off see the police are this is why police can't investigate good because they don't get the whole story same with reporters they lie about everything 
Do you question the things that police and reporters would never put out there? People never knew if this girl, if this guy, went off because if 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 it was because his, his girlfriend broke up broke up with him, or he was just having a bad day, or he lost a loved one, or anything. He just went off. They say he went to the mall, shot up two grown adults, and killed a kid. I mean, he didn't kill a kid. He wasn't there, shut up two adults, and injured a kid. You never know because people won't tell the truth. And, and it makes you feel bad. It's like he, he, killed, he, he went to the mall to kill people because of a breakup. And that's one thing that went to my mind when I finished seeing some of the stories. It's like, oh, he, his girlfriend broke up with him. And that's what made him go off and kill somebody. I was like, that, that don't sound right. That don't sound right. And that's how it is to me. It, it, to me, it didn't sound right because of what's been told. Now, if I'm, and I'm going to say this. I'm going to straight say this straight off the bat. I'm going to say this straight off the bat because I'm not going to, not, I'm going to say this straight off the bat. If I'm missing some information, if I'm missing, if I left out some information, if I left out some, if I left out some information or whatever, instead of calling me an idiot, you can do a video response and say, hey, Afro, let me add this on it. Here's some more information that you need to know or the people need to know and just put it out there. Same with the comment. Just like, hey, let me add on. This is one thing that he didn't know. That da 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 da. That's it. You don't need to call somebody an idiot just to say you're wrong or you're missing some part of the information. Just put it in the video response or in the comments. And that's all you need to do. But this has been Afro Joe 10 like it is again, man. But honestly, like I said, I feel bad for the people who got shot. The two grown adults. They got shot. They will never see their family again. They will never see their kids again. They will never see see their kids grow up. They will never see their kids get married. They will never see their kids have kids. They will never see that. But... But it's like, it is what it is, man. And this has been Afro Chan this has been Afro Joe Tan like TA is again. Just follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie. Subscribe to my channel, Silo Junior 2, Silo Junior 3. Follow me on Tumblr Tumblr. I'm gonna post it up. I'm gonna post the story link, the news link into the store uh, into the description box. But like I said, man, if I left out a key piece of evidence, put it in the comment, say Afro Joe, you're missing part of your part of the information that's out there just write the it's like okay just write put it out there say uh afro joe this is uh, this is what else they said about this guy da, 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 da. i'll put in a video response like afro joe da, 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 instead of calling somebody a fucking idiot that's stupid <laughs> but but you know what i'm saying just put it nice ways around christmas time nobody needs to be evil but like i said man holla at me